The Franciscans host these special resonating tones allow a greater harmony between both sides of your brain and more balanced, healthy functioning in mind and body. Your overall experience can be improved. More of your goals can be achieved. You know, I think I used to assume a lot about the sounds I was hearing, you know, naming them. And then you realize that, especially after you record them and you bring them into the studio, the richness just blossoms and there's all kinds of detail in there that you would never notice on the first time you hear it. Left, right, left. Over time, you can really develop a relationship with those kinds of sounds because they kind of meet you halfway. It was about being quieter in a lot of ways and working with sounds that are kind of like right up against your skin. He's out of his team. I have for the longest time kind of worked with found elements and original material. I think I've spent more than half of my lifetime trying to find a meaningful way to express those interests in one form. Once I met Nick, we recognized that we both were actually seeking how to bring together very disparate elements in recorded sound within music. Somehow, we got onto that very quickly. I'd like to share with you what to me is a wonderful experience. When I was over at Paul's, I think the first time he had us over for dinner, I noticed this giant stack of mini discs. I had to know what was on those. So I asked him about it and he said, oh, those are my reference materials. Whenever there was something that I heard, either in Foley or in, in music or in language, interesting, I would record it. And that was kind of the beginning of my sample library as I started sharing it with Nick. Nick would go through the library and he would make his own selection of sounds that he would feel like these are winners. We just absolutely have to use that somehow. We had an understanding of each other, which is you recognize the fact that you relate to similar things. You share that emotional reaction. That's how working with the sample library and working music worked for us, is, is recognizing that kinship. I love the idea of emergence. It's like, instead of trying to plan anything, you just set up a situation where something is bound to happen. That was how the books worked. Like Paul put together an amazing collection of sounds that had so much potential. They would find each other in really unexpected ways. Her recovery, a passion. She weathers the extreme. The Church of Mission San Javier. When you're on your own, you're already juggling a certain amount of chaos that you want to make sense of and control, yet there's also a certain amount of chaos that needs to remain the way it is because it has beauty in it in itself. It's a constant process of, of adding and elimination. If you do that together, you've got to be prepared that whatever the three steps forward you take, 
the two steps back that your creative partner takes might not particularly be the same path that you took to get to get ahead. The root is the trust that wherever your partner will take it will make it into something that you never would have been able to do on your own. There is no better or worse in art anyway. It either exists or it doesn't. I think like all relationships, the dynamics change over time, especially as the underpinning forces that brought that relationship together change. I, I guess we said it ourselves, like expectation leads to disappointment. There was, for a long period of time, a lot of frustration and, and uh, a lot of pain. And at some point, I think both of us were just like, this isn't worth it. It takes a tremendous commitment to, to share what you, what you have a hard time controlling and understanding yourself. Collaboration is really about to find a compromise that transcends rather than diminishes. As long as it pleases you, and as long as the work pleases you, you can continue what you do in a collaboration. And when that no longer pleases you, then it's time to move on, I suppose. I think we live in a time where everything is happening, you know? It's like everything that's possible is happening, and it's happening fast. And I think the books tried to reflect that shift in our own way, and to deal with that shift in our own way. Making that music was, in essence, taking the noise of the world and tuning it to, to something that we could live with and, and believe in and love, and, uh, and share with other people that would evoke the same kind of feeling. Of, um, of being okay, you know, with the world rather than having to fight against the noise, we could sort of turn it into something that was useful. Mm -hmm.